I would like to welcome everyone here today for this breakfast session, and thank you all for coming so early in the morning. I think it's a sign of the commitment to inclusive business as well as our agenda here today. It's great to see Business Call to Action partners from CETA, from DFID, the Netherlands Foreign Ministry, USAID, and of course our colleagues here at UNDP today, as well as other key partners such as the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, the International Chamber of Commerce, the IFC, and of course our event hosters for this breakfast session, Business Action for Africa, the Harvard Kennedy School, and the Partnering Initiative. To begin our day today, I would like to start um, by introducing uh, the agenda for this morning. We will have opening remarks by our newly appointed Assistant Administrator and Assistant Secretary General, Director of the Bureau for Policy and Program Support, Mr. Magdi martinez Soliman. Um, subsequent to that, our next panel and our morning session will be opened by our chair for this morning, uh, Professor Stuart Hart from Cornell University and the University of Vermont. So please join me in welcoming Mr. Magdi martinez Soliman for our opening introductory remarks. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Um, on behalf of UNDP and Business Call to Action, I'd like to thank our partners, the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Swedish International Development Corporation Agency, CEDA, the UK Department for International Development, the FID, the US Agency for International Development, USAID, uh, and the United Nations Global Compact, together with our community partner, Business Action for Africa, for their continued support and collaboration. We are today less than 500 days away from the end date of the Millennium Development Goals. A new development agenda beyond 2015 is well on its way. It will build upon the lessons learned from the recent past and build on a renewed commitment to poverty reduction while aiming to shift the world to a path of sustainable development. A central message from the intergovernmental and the public discussions is that the post-2015 agenda will need to be delivered through collective action involving multi-sector partnership between public authorities, businesses, and civil society. Yesterday, we had a phenomenal proof of that through the New York Forest Declaration, where Norway and Indonesia, Germany and Liberia joined Civicus, Cargill, Unilever, and agribusiness in their commitment to zero deforestation. This is where platforms like Business Call to Action, which is a public-private partnership in its best form, can continue to call for action by the private sector to undertake an agenda of smart reforms. Inclusive business practices are on the rise. We are excited by the fact that 104 leading companies spanning the globe across every sector have already committed concrete initiative to the business call to action and that we hope to reach another 100 in our next phase. Later today, I'm pleased to announce that business call to action will launch its new report, Breaking Through, which outlines the progress made by its member companies in their inclusive business initiatives. We're also looking forward to a partner Business Action for Africa's report on business partnerships in, uh, on the continent. You will be hearing about both later, but allow me to advance an, ad an ambition that is common to both reports. Translating growth into jobs, generating jobs and growth in a green economy, and making growth, employment, and sustainability the companion of social protection. UNDP, together with sister agencies in the UN Development Group, uh, took it to the people and facilitated an unprecedented global conversation on the world they want. So far, over five million people have made their voices heard through on and offline responses. They said that the MDGs were right and that unfinished business must go first, but they also said they want an honest government and a green agenda. The private sector has already joined the march. It also wants, how couldn't it, 
an honest government and to participate in the delivery of public services. Together we can do more to make sure the world becomes more inclusive and prosperous. This is, as you are hearing on the streets of New York and in the halls of the UN building, a time for action, a time for ambition and a time for wider horizons. I thank you for being partners for action, dreamers and doers, visionaries and practitioners. Nothing much gets done without great ideas, but great ideas don't go far without great people wanting to see them happen. Thank you very much.